Yes, and welcome back to the 94 Club for your daily dose of country music. Hey, look, over the next two days, we're featuring Emily Scott Robinson and Ashley McBride because they've both been heavily requested. On Friday and Saturday, let me know who you want to see. Remember, this week, we're looking at female country artists only uh, and shining a light on some of the independent artists, which I'm really excited to do. Yesterday, we put up a Morgan Wade video, which has already hit 1,100 views, which has gone crazy. Partly because Morgan Wade actually shared the video on her, on her Instagram page. So uh, <laughs> thank you, Morgan, for doing that. Anyway, we're going to get into this. Let's see what we've got right now. Right, so Ashley McBride, Bible and a 4-4. You have seen it in the title. Um, I've heard of Ashley McBride before, of course. I've seen that she's kind of broke it into the mainstream charts. Um, like I said, I don't know much about her. If anything, a lot of times, it's, again, a first listen for me. Um, I might have heard some of her music on play, uh, Spotify playlists and that sort of thing um, without kind of realising back when I wasn't paying too much attention to country. Um, but now that we're fully in this, and you know, if you're if you're a regular regular listener on the channel, you know that we we cover a lot of artists. Majority are independent artists, um, but we do hit some mainstream as well. Anyway, I'm gonna set this up. Um, we're gonna get into this and see what we think. Um, I'm excited. Yeah, of course I am. Let's go. I'm Ashley McBride, and this is my mason jar session. My dad had a guitar when I was growing up that I wasn't allowed to touch, and I found that out by picking it up when I was seven years old. He picked me up by my elbows and told me never to touch that guitar again. It was worth more than my life. He said, they just don't make them that way no more, Ash. And uh, on his 70th birthday, I drove to his house. I knew he wouldn't be home, and I knew where that guitar was, and I'm a grown woman, and I'll play any guitar I please. So I sat down with his guitar. I was gonna write a song in spite of him, and I wound up just writing a song about him. So this is a Bible on a 44. So to start with, this is quite a nice message, right? I think you definitely, I guess most people go through this as, as kids, right? You, you touch something that belongs to your parents and it's so valuable to them. And they're like, you don't understand how valuable this is. I will never get another chance to get any, to get this. But what they don't realize, I don't, I don't think all the time is, the influence that just letting them have a little bit of freedom and a little bit of control over will will we'll give to them. But what this is symbolised for Ashley, and it's probably re uh, led to a really nice song, which I'm kind of interested to to hear about. So now I know it's about a dad. Um, what what I think it it kind of represents is, and I've said this before, so. So my dad drives quite a nice car and he's always said to me, do you want to drive it? And my response has always been, no, I'm not touching that until I can uh, until I can afford it myself. And I think by her dad going, no, you can't play this. You don't understand how valuable it is. Um, it's given her that drive to go, oh, well, I'm going to show you now. I'm going to show you what I can do. And and now look, actually, he's a, one of the biggest country stars. So uh, yeah, fair play. Southern draw like a red bone hound. Every song he sang was my favorite sound. He'd be the last one off if a ship went down. The kind of man it feels good to be around. The kind of man it feels good to be around. He had hair as white as a cotton field. He'd spin you a story like a wagon wheel Never went nowhere without a rod and reel Lord, I miss that man, I always will I miss that man, and I always will He'd 
see through a line Like an old screen door You taught me how to hunt How to love the Lord You carried a Bible and a 44 They just don't make them like that no more So, uh, let's take it back a little bit. So, uh, the essence of the message is she's painting a picture about who her dad is, what what the things are that make him who he is, um, and the fact that he's actually a really nice man to be around, and it's a bit it's a nice tribute to him. Um, I think anyone who who is close to their parents will definitely resonate with this. Uh, but anyone that's close to anyone in general, I think you know you, everyone goes through that sort of process of. You know we're not always gonna we're not all gonna be around forever. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, being able to to sort of show them the love that they deserve, I think is a really nice thing. So Bible and a forty four is that. So obviously I know Bible. I guess forty four is a gun. A, a, is it a revolver or something like that? Um, you'll have to let me know. Obviously I'm a Brit. We don't really do guns over here. Um, but yeah, let me know. So it's a really nice song. That use of imagery again in that second verse was beautiful. Um, that he has hair as white as a cotton field. He could spin you a story like a wagon wheel. Uh, he never he never went nowhere without a rod and reel. So fishing. Um, Lord, I miss that man, and I always will. So it it is it is a really nice way of painting a picture about about her dad. Cool. Let's carry it out. Said, take what you've got and do the best you can. The best thing you'll ever own is a piece of land. And y'all, he knew his like the back of his hand. He was something else, my old man. He was something else, my old man. He'd see through a lie like an old screen. Taught me how to hunt, how to love the Lord. He carried a Bible out of 44. They just don't make them like that no more. Well, I saw him strum this thing every chance he could. And he left it to me like he said he would And if you ask me why it sounds so good It's cause I'm holding more than strings and wood I'm holding more than strings and wood He'd see through a line Like an old screen door taught me how to hunt and how to love the Lord. He carried a Bible and a 44. He just don't make them like that no more. No, they just don't make them like that no I still really enjoyed it. I'm guessing, you know, I do like to do the live ones because I think you always get, even though they're not always the most perfectly produced things, you always get a, a, a better sense of connection with the artist because you can see them feel it. And I guess this is why it's so addictive to go and watch live live music. Um, but the song itself, and, and I get the impression that Unfortunately, her dad's passed away now, but this guitar has almost acted as an heirloom or a memory that has has sort of given her not 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 just a drive, but like a like a reason for why she's doing this. And and one of the lines in there, and which I think is the best line of the song, is that if you ask me why it sounds so good, 
it's because I'm holding more than strings and wood. There's so much more in this in this guitar. There's memories in there, and you can't you can't buy memories. Do you know what I mean? They they give you a feeling and a motivation and a I don't know what that whether it's endorphins or adrenaline adrenaline, but it gives you something that you pull on and a and like a this feeling of being invincible that makes you feel like you can achieve anything. So when she holds that guitar, when she's playing that guitar, when she wrote this song, she knew it was going to be good. Like it. It didn't really matter because she'd set the bar so high, playing this guitar set the bar so high that whatever came out of her head was going to be incredible. Um, so we will go through the song. So he had a, she's painted a picture of who he who he is and 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 uh, yeah. So he goes, she goes. Sorry, she says he had a southern drawl like a red bone hound, uh, like a red bone hound. Uh, tell me what a red bone hound is because I'm not sure. Um, but I know what Southern drawl is, uh, and every and that that's like the accent and the way that he talks, uh, and every song he sang was my favourite sound, and he always drew on that Southern drawl, and that is something that makes that's one element of what makes country music country music. But there is more to it than that. Um, he'd be the last one off the ship. It'd be like the last one off if the ship went down. Uh, like he's the captain. He's the, he's the head of the household. Um, you know, he's, he's not letting anything else fail without putting his all into it. Uh, the kind of man it feels good to be around. Uh, and I think it's important that she sets that sets that sort of scene early on. Uh, he had hair as white as a cotton field. We spoke about this bit and he could spin you a story like a wagon wheel. He never went nowhere without a rod and reel. Uh, Lord, I miss that man and I always will. And she's really painting him. So this is his hobbies. This section, well, you know, he's got that that imagery of his hair's as white as a cotton field. He likes to tell stories about his past and uh, and things like that. And I think storytelling is actually like a big a big part of country the the country culture as well. And it's something that I really like. Um, and I think sometimes in 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 this country, I think we we often close off and we don't talk about stories enough. So uh, or our previous memories or experiences to learn from. Uh, but when we do, it's so rich and it's so valuable and 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 it's beautiful. Uh, and so then she goes into the chorus. He'd see through a lie like an old screen door. Um, the old screen doors, I assume we have them. We call them like a patio door, and it's just a glass sheet of it, the door is just a glass sheet that you pull open, and if you can, it's you know it's transparent. You can you can see through it. So it's a nice picture that she's portraying there. He taught me how to hunt and how to love the Lord. Again, these are things that are quite country, um, hunting and 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 being religious. They are are very sort of paramount to to being country, I believe, from what I can see from the outside. Um, he carried a Bible and he's and a forty four, and they don't make them like that no more. So he's an old school country guy, and and maybe what she sees within even looking into this country music scene of the kind of people that are, are running the scene now and the music that they're making, if this, if these are the kind of guys that the, the kids of tomorrow are looking up to, then you're going to lose that essence of what it really is to be country. Um, I think that's kind of where we're going with that. And again, we'll talk about that in a second because there are a lot of guys like, I guess, Colter Wall, Tyler Childers, Benjamin Todd. We have a few more in there that are that are producing some really nice music and actually go and actually you know you can you can make music like they used to and i guess this is the the modern stance on classic country and and just paying homage to some of the greats like there are people doing it um anyway back to the song so uh she goes into he said and, and this is something i agree with he, she said he said take what you've got and do the best you can the best thing you'll ever own is a piece of land like with population growing and land becoming far more scarce it's very difficult to own anything you know you'll find a lot of people just rent and that that rent money is is money that just disappears into thin air like you you, you don't own anything you're just spending and, and nothing's coming back well when you own a piece of land the value will always go up so if you can get your hands on land get your hand on land that is um get your hands on land that is um, a good piece of advice and he knew his like the back of his hand I know uh, 
ranching is a big thing over in America, and I know like one of one of my best friends is a farmer, and he shows so much admiration for for land. It's it's crazy. Um, he was something else, my old man. Uh, and then we go back into the chorus, and then we say, "I saw him strum this thing every chance he could." And this is where she's talking about the guitar uh, that she's playing, and he left it to me like he said he would. Um, and if you ask me why it sounds so good, it's because I'm holding more than strings and wood. And then she repeats that again, uh, just to just to enforce that message home. So it's a really nice song, and that that last bit about the guitar is, you know, that's why we do heirlooms. We have things that are memorable around this pub. I've got things that pay homage to both of my grandparents um, that, that just are, are steeped in memories. We have photographs behind the camera um, and they're just beautiful things to have and beautiful memories to have. And, and you can see like in the younger photos, you can see like, you know, I look at one of my granddads, he just looks like me when I was a kid. I look on the other side and, and there's this very strong resemblances to my brother uh, within that, that side of the family. So. You know, I think it's great. It's great to pass these things down. And if you can play something and get a message out there like Ashley can, it's beautiful. Like it just it just amplifies, doesn't it? Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. Hit that subscribe button, and you'll stay up to date with all the latest videos. But for now, that's me. Thank you. Peace.